Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're an endurance athlete, you know that training is only half the battle. Nutrition is key to making sure your body performs at its best. So today we're talking about some of the most important nutrients that are essential for athletes of all types, especially endurance athletes. We're going to cover a mix of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that support your stamina, your recovery, and immune health. And I'll also give you some easy food ideas to help you pack them into your diet. So let's jump right into it. Hey, I'm Dr. Jason Barker. One of my clinical specialties over the last couple of decades has been working with athletes. And as an athlete myself, I've always been interested in what makes us all go faster, have better performance and recovery, heal from injuries faster, et cetera, et cetera. So this YouTube channel is a fun way for me to get some of this info out there. Okay, let's dive in. Each of these nutrients are equally important, so they're not covered in any particular order. Also, keep in mind that even with the perfect diet, a person may have a much higher metabolic demand for particular nutrients, and that person is probably you if you're watching this. We know that endurance athletes need anywhere from 30 to 100% more of various nutrients in comparison to their sedentary counterparts. So this is where supplementation comes in. Diet is always first, but if you're training heavily, you should consider supplementation as well in order to cover your nutritional bases. Remember, you can't out supplement a bad diet. Food is first, but supplementation is a great way to fill in any of those nutritional holes and ensure your body is replete so that nutritional insufficiency is never a question when it comes to your performance. Of all the things that go on with training and racing, nutrition is the one thing that you can actually control. All right, first up is magnesium. This one's a big deal for athletes because it plays a role in both muscle function and energy production. It helps keep your muscles working properly during those long runs or rides, and it can also help reduce cramps during and after activity, as well as some soreness afterward. Magnesium is also important for muscle relaxation. If you have tight muscles, magnesium is amazing for loosening them up. Magnesium is also what I call a really good entry-level sleep aid, which benefits recovery, of course. A lot of people report that it helps them sleep better which makes sense because it helps regulate neurotransmitters that are responsible for calming the nervous system, such as gamma aminobutyric acid, also known as GABA, which is essential for the brain to relax and initiate sleep. Without sufficient magnesium, GABA production can be impaired, leading to difficulties in falling asleep and poor sleep quality. At the same time, magnesium inhibits N-methyl-D aspartate, NMDA, which is involved in excitatory signaling in the brain. By reducing excessive excitation, magnesium promotes a calming effect on the brain, which is, of course, conducive to sleep onset and sleep maintenance. Endurance athletes lose more magnesium through sweat, and they use it all up in muscle contractions and energy production. You may need about 10 to 20% more magnesium than sedentary people do. The most magnesium-rich foods include spinach, almonds, pumpkin seeds, black beans, and coffee. Yes, coffee is a food, of course. Next, we've got vitamin D, which you probably heard about for bone health. It helps your body absorb calcium, which is, of course, important for bone strength and has the end result of preventing stress fractures, which are a relatively common injury amongst endurance athletes. Vitamin D plays a vital role in supporting the immune system through several pathways. Number one, it promotes the production of antimicrobial compounds by immune cells, which are crucial for neutralizing pathogens like bacteria and viruses, particularly in mucosal surfaces like the respiratory and GI tracts, where a lot of infections commonly begin. A vitamin D deficiency will set you up for more of these infections that you certainly don't want. Now, vitamin D also has an anti-inflammatory effect and can reduce chronic inflammation by downregulating the production of pro-inflammatory chemicals. And at the same time, it promotes the expression of anti-inflammatory chemicals as well. So it has a lot of great effects on the immune system. This balance is crucial for preventing uncontrolled immune responses that can damage tissues, which is a hallmark of many autoimmune and chronic inflammatory diseases. Vitamin D rich foods include salmon and mackerel, egg yolks, and fortified dairy products. Vitamin D is one supplement that you should definitely supplement with, especially if you live in a northern climate where most of your skin never sees the sun in the winter months. It's highly unlikely that you'll get enough sun on your skin during this time to help you manufacture adequate amounts of vitamin D year round, um, nor will you get enough through your diet alone. Personally, I start supplementing with vitamin D from October through April every year here in Colorado. Okay, now let's talk about the B-complex vitamins. 
B vitamins play a critical role in supporting the health and performance of endurance athletes by influencing energy production, red blood cell formation, and muscle recovery. B1, thiamine, B2, riboflavin, B3, niacin, B5, panathenic acid, and B7, biotin are essential coenzymes in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. These vitamins help convert nutrients into ATP, the body's primary energy currency. B6, pyridoxine, B9, folate, and B12, cobalamin, are crucial for the production and maturation of red blood cells. Red blood cells, of course, transport oxygen to working muscles and tissues. B6 and B12 are also important for protein metabolism and the repair of muscle tissues after exercise. B6 is involved in amino acid metabolism, helping the body efficiently use proteins for muscle repair and recovery. B12 is essential for nerve function, which is critical for coordinating muscle contractions and reducing the risk of injury and muscle fatigue. Altogether, the B vitamins help keep your metabolism running efficiently, your energy level is high, and they support muscle repair. Foods rich in B vitamins include whole grains like oats and brown rice, chicken and beef, leafy greens like spinach and eggs. Since B vitamins are so important for energy metabolism, endurance athletes definitely have a greater demand for them. As an example, many endurance athletes require 50 to 100% more B6, B12, riboflavin, and niacin than do sedentary individuals to support their energy needs and tissue repair. As always, aim to get most of these nutrients through diet. But if you're training a ton, you should probably consider a B-complex supplement as well. Two important things of note regarding B-vitamin supplementation. One is always take them with food. They're notorious for causing stomach upset on an empty stomach. And number two, take them earlier in the day rather than later. A uh, considerable amount of people get a little bit of a charge from a B-complex, and that may prevent you from falling asleep on time. All right, now let's talk about the antioxidant and immune supportive vitamins A, C, E, and along with zinc and selenium. These are important for protecting your body from the oxidative stress that comes along with intense long duration exercise, and they also play an important role in supporting immune function. The increased oxidative stress from prolonged physical activity means that endurance athletes often need more antioxidants to counteract free radical damage. Free radicals basically damage your DNA, helping you age faster. Also, endurance athletes, particularly those engaged in prolonged and intense exercise, are indeed at a higher risk of upper respiratory infections compared to the general population. Research suggests that endurance athletes may be about two to six times more likely to catch an upper respiratory, especially after prolonged periods of heavy training or competitive events like marathons or triathlons. Okay, let's talk about each one of these. So vitamin A's antioxidant properties are crucial for maintaining skin health and protecting the eyes, especially under physical or environmental stress. Vitamin A is also essential for maintaining the integrity of the skin and mucosal barriers, such as those lining the respiratory and GI tracts, which are of course the body's first line of defense against infections. It also supports the proper function of immune cells like the T cells and the B cells, improving the body's ability to respond to infections and enhance immune memory. You can get vitamin A from carrots, sweet potatoes, and spinach, among other foods. Vitamin C's antioxidant effect is more specifically targeted at those free radicals that are generated during intense exercise, and it enhances the production and function of white blood cells, particularly the lymphocytes and phagocytes, which help protect the body against those infections. Vitamin C-rich foods include oranges, bell peppers, and broccoli. Vitamin E is an essential fat-soluble antioxidant that protects cell membranes from oxidative damage by neutralizing those free radicals, especially in lipid-rich areas of the body, such as cell membranes and the brain tissue. In regard to its immune supportive benefits, it also helps modulate inflammation by balancing the immune response, which is vital for both preventing infections and controlling chronic inflammation. Vitamin E can be found in almonds, sunflower seeds, and avocados, as an example. Next up is zinc. Now, while zinc isn't a direct antioxidant like the others we've talked about, it serves as a cofactor for the enzyme superoxide dismutase, which helps neutralize superoxide free radicals, an especially harmful type of oxidant that can be generated in athletes working out in larger, more polluted population centers. Adequate zinc levels are necessary for proper immune responses, such as antibody production. Now, Zinc deficiency can also impair immune function, leading to increased susceptibility to infections and also delayed wound healing. So if you get road rash and you're zinc deficient, you're going to have a harder time healing it up. Look for zinc in oysters, beef, chickpeas, and cashews. 
Next is selenium. Selenium is a key component of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase, which plays a crucial role in protecting cells from oxidative damage. Glutathione is the body's most powerful and important antioxidant. Selenium also works alongside other antioxidants like vitamin E to enhance overall antioxidant defenses. Selenium is essential for proper immune function as it also helps regulate inflammation and supports the activation of immune cells like the T cells and the macrophages. A deficiency in selenium can lead to weakened immune function and increased susceptibility to infections as well. There's a lot of selenium in Brazil nuts, tuna, eggs, and whole grains. And finally, we have glutamine, an amino acid that's super helpful for recovery and immune support. Long, intense training can deplete your glutamine levels, which can possibly contribute to immune system inadequacies, is how I would put it. Glutamine purportedly supports immune function. There are some good studies out there that says it helps, while there's others that say it doesn't really do much. Now, personally, I will definitely supplement with glutamine when I'm in a heavy training block. Again, I'll do whatever I can to minimize the chance of getting sick. It's such a drag, of course, when you've trained and trained and then you wind up ill on race day. So some foods that are rich in glutamine include beef, chicken, fish, and dairy products. This is one that I would definitely get in a supplement because all that positive research I mentioned use several grams per day, and that would be tough to get that much in a regular protein-rich diet. So personally, I'll put a five gram scoop in my water twice a day during those heavy training blocks. So, okay, now there's one more we need to cover, and that is iron, but this is only for the female athletes out there. Female endurance athletes need more iron due to iron loss through menstruation. Additionally, if she's vegan or vegetarian, this also increases the chances of not having enough iron on board, period. Low iron will lead to iron deficiency anemia, which of course can lead to fatigue, reduced endurance, and impaired performance. Female endurance athletes may require up to about 30% more iron than their non-active peers to support their performance and health. Now guys, you do not need to supplement with iron unless you've specifically been told to do so by your physician. Too much iron isn't helpful for men, not to mention it can become toxic very easily. All right, there you have it. the key nutrients that can boost your performance as an endurance athlete. Remember, getting enough magnesium, vitamin D, B vitamins, and antioxidants like vitamin A, C, E, zinc, selenium, and glutamine, and iron if you're a woman, will help you train harder, cover faster, and stay healthy. Be sure to fuel your body with these nutrient-packed foods to perform at your peak, and consider supplementing with some of these nutrients as well for extra insurance, so to speak. You can even get a blood test done that will tell you your levels of all these nutrients. It's called a micronutrient panel. It's one I've used in clinic for years, and I'll put a link to that one down below. So which of these nutrients do you take? And if you do, have you had a positive experience as a result? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips on endurance nutrition and performance.